Hello, hi guys. So today let's see a little bit about Rust, how it internally works. And yesterday I was seeing one of the LinkedIn posts and they started telling about C++ and most of the people are saying C++ is going to deprecate and Rust will be the future. Just to see all those things, so I try to analyze the Rust programming line. But as a C++ guy, I try to analyze this Rust, how it works internally and all those things. And to my surprise, I found out some of the statistics about the Rust and C++ and C. I noted down all those things in a chart. So let's look into that one. And let's uh, start analyzing the Rust and the other programming languages. So for that one, what I have done is, so here you can see I have created three programs. Uh, one is in Rust, one is in C++, and another one is in C. So what I'm doing here is, so just I'm printing a hello world. So this is a Rust programming language hello world. And similarly, I have a main.cpp. This is a C++ program, which simply prints a hello world. And similarly, we have a C program. So simply print a hello world. So on a console, it will print a hello world. So all the three programmings are same. So in the sense, the job it is doing is the same. Only the programming language is different. So let's start dig deeper into this. So what I'll do is, so first I'll try to compile a Rust. So for that one, we need a Rust C. This is, a, this is the compiler. So then I have to give main.rs and compile. So let me give the output as a Rust exe. And remove main. So because by default, the Rust will generate a main as a executable. So now here you can see there is a Rust executable. So let me execute this Rust exe. So it is working fine. Similarly, let us compile main.cpp and let me rename this one as cpp exe and similarly let us use a gcc compiler main.c iphone o c exe so basically what i have done is so i generated three binaries in a three different programming language so let me try to execute each one of them cpp exe and c exe so everything looks same right so now the thing starts so whenever i do ls minus lah let it be lah can you see here the size of the binary in the rest is 3.7 mb so you may be thinking like okay it may be not a released one so let it be strip of this one and let us see the size of the binary and before this one so let us simply look like what is the size of this one let us remove the human readable format and here you can see uh, the c program executable is little bit lesser size and the cpp is more size and can you see the rest exe it is very much bigger size so that means by seeing this one itself, we can see that one, the Rust is taking a huge code segment. So that means a lot of code has been added into the executable. And the second thing what I'll do is, I'll try to execute a LDD command for Rust exe. And similarly, I'll do for CPP exe and I'll do for C exe. So here you can observe this, Rust exe and the CPP exe is almost same. The only changes is there is a lib std C++, so which is the extra library which has been linked to an executable, which is nothing but CPP exe, which is nothing but a C++ library, right? STD C++ library. And the other thing is maybe here you can see there is a math.s4. So probably uh, since I use IO stream internally, it might be using a math library. So that's why it linked this one. So rest everything here you can see. So VDS4, so there is a VDS4 in a rest and there is a gcc i underscore s there is a gcc underscore s and there is a libc and there is a libc and one more thing is this is a loader and this is the loader so both the things are having a link with the same kind of a shared library the extra thing is lib stdc plus plus and lib math is not been there in a rest but when it comes to c here you can see there is a vds4 libc and there is a loader only these three libraries have been linked so this is one more uh, difference in a rest so now let us try to uh, dig a little bit deeper into rust exe using nm command now the one more analysis what i've done is using nm command so nm rust exe and if i try to enter this one can you see so most of the things are c plus plus functionality here so here you can see it is name mangled right so let me try to do hyphen d mangle so if i do a hyphen d mangle can you see so most of the codes are written in a c plus plus so now what i'll do is so let me try to figure out like what is the number of symbols which is present in a rust so it is 705 symbols present in a rust exe so similarly let me try to do uh, for cpp there is a 37 symbols and let's do for c exe hyphen l there is a 30 symbols by seeing this one itself we can find out that when the rusty exe is consuming a lot of code segment there is a 708 37 and 30 so that means the rust is taking a lot of code segment so that means rust is a little bit heavier compared to other programming languages so let us see one more analysis so let's try to do with a valgrind valgrind analysis 
So what I'll do is, so let me execute Rust exe and enter. Now here you can see uh, there is 11 allocation and 11 freeze and the bytes allocated is 3181. So let me try to see with CPP. Now in the CPP here you can see there is a two allocation and two freeze. Only two allocation and two freeze. But here you can see there is 11 alloc and 11 freeze. So that means 11 time uh, memory has been allocated in a heap and 11 time it has been freed. But here you can see there is only two allocations and two freeze. So by seeing this one at least I can say so the allocation of a heap uh, happen only two times and it is maybe a little bit faster. But the thing is the number of the bytes which is allocated in a heap is very much huge compared to a Rust programming language. So now let us do the same thing with CXE as you have uh, already imagined. So here you can see there is only one allocation and one free. So overall there is only 1024 bytes of memory has been allocated in a heap when it comes to C. So that means here I can see the C is more efficient and uh, I found C++ is a little bit efficient compared to Rust because it is only having a two allocation and two free. But the point of the discussion is like it is allocating 73,728 bytes of memory in a heap. So whether it is a fast or so, so let me um, give your inputs in the comments. So then the other analysis what we can do is, so let's do a, how many system calls it has been called. So hyphen C will give only summaries and let me execute uh rusty exit now so let me minimize this one and here you can see there is a 65 api call so 65 system call has been done now similarly if i try to execute a cpp exe and there is a 67 system call has been done and let me do c e x e here there is a 37 system call so the more the system call it is called the maximum number of contacts which will happen so for example when we compare only uh, between Rust and C++, let's say there is a, a map. There is 13 time it is being called, but let us see here in C++. Here, can you see there's 22 times it is being called. So that means there is more context switching is happening in the C++ that is only like a two extra system call is being called. And whenever I see here, there is a something called a poll. So this is a system API which is called inside this Rust, but there is no poll here. So by seeing this one itself, maybe I can assume there is some polling mechanism. So they have used a efficient way. So probably maybe ePoll would have been better. So they have used something poll for uh, maybe reading a file descriptor or something like that. And here we can see in a C executable. So as we know, so there is only 37 system APIs being called. So by seeing this one, so just I summarized all those things. So the first thing is here we can see uh, the executable size of this executable is uh, bigger in a Rust programming language. So Rust executable basically. And the number of the system APIs is a little bit less compared to the C++, but it is not that much comparable, that much less compared to C++. So both are almost like equal. So and other thing is like those people who keep on say about there is a um, Rust is better than C++ and all those things. So what I'll do is, so let me try to compile Rust uh, programming with uh, symbol table uh, with the more debug information. So let's say main.rs and let me do rest exe and I, I can use a GDB or else I can use a Rust GDB. So both are same. So in my, since I'm a C++ programmer or C programmer, I'll try to use a GDB uh, Rust exe. So when I do this one, can you see here? So even I can use a GDB for my executable. So that is Rust executable. So let me put a breakpoint on me. And there is one more uh, uh, beautiful thing here. You can see there is a two location where the main has been uh, added. So that means a breakpoint is added in two locations. So what I'll do is simply I'll try to run this one. Now when I run this one here, you can see uh, the main, the address of this first main is called somewhere here. This is not exactly this is the main, not this main. So what I'll do is simply I'll say continue when i do a continue here where you can see there is a main scope resolution main so that means there is two main one main is nothing but a entry of a program entry of the executable which is nothing but a illa format in a unix so that means the program has entered using this main and somehow it is coming here main and main so that means from this one itself i can say this main.rs so there is a rust program the file name is main and it is using a scope resolution and this is the main function. This is a dummy function, which is it, which is created and gives a feeling like it is a main. It is starting here. But the actual thing is it is starting from this main. And one more thing we can see is, let me exit. So let me do nm uh, rust.exe hyphen hyphen dmangle maybe grip for main. Now, if you 
do this one can you see here there are two symbols which is present so one is main and another one is main scope resolution mean so this is the actual uh, place where the uh, program starts and this is where the function which is internally defined in a rest so what i'll do is so let me move this uh, main dot rs to maybe test dot rs again let us compile rest c iphone g test dot rs iphone o maybe test exe now again if i do run test exe iphone iphone d mangle and if i grip for main can you see as i said in the gdb so this test is a file name and using this file name scope resolution main by seeing this one maybe i can imagine there is a namespace which is used in c++ so that name of that namespace is a test test which is nothing but a file name and there is a main here so this is where the dummy function and here where our uh, glibc that is where the actual main this is the startup routine this calls internally this main and this main internally calls this one so this is how the uh, rust works internally uh, since even i am a new to rust programming language so if you have a uh, more comments and more inputs about the rust and its performance so please let me know in a comment section so i think uh, this make a little bit clear for a c++ or a c programmer about rust thank you